awesome. It is really awesome. I think it's the best thing that's happened to the church in, I don't know, well, since I've been there, which has been about 20 years. When he gets things over here to us, he ain't got all over here yet. I think it looks fantastic. that I've seen is like the what I assume will be the main entrance with the tall ceiling and the and the various levels for the classrooms and that's impressive. You say there's gonna be a lot of brass rail here. Where will that be? Yeah around the entire stairwell. This entire stairwell stairwell it's gonna have in this we have a tempered glass. Tempered glass, solid tempered glass that comes out of this receiver. And it's gonna have a three inch brass rail sitting on top of it. And all this bottom is gonna be trimmed in the dark stained oak also. I've been going through trying to imagine what each room is, <laughs> you know, and um, counting the different Sabbath school rooms and and wondering how the stairs are gonna stand up without any support. <laughs> Looking forward to having it open because we need some some place where we can meet together and fellowship. To me, this is this is one of the um, most important rooms in the building because it represents what we're trying to have happen with the entire church, and that is uh, provide a, a warmer atmosphere, more socially accepting and inclusive and active. And uh, this fellowship hall, I think, will be used an awful lot for that kind of thing. This is the entrance to the main floor kitchen, the big kitchen. We have all the stainless, all the stainless equipment is here. It's not all installed, not put in the location it goes yet. We have two big uh, freezers here that's going to be in this opening to be accessible from both sides. Inside the fellowship hall and inside the kitchen also. We have a storage room in the back which is where they put the stop. That's a steamer, that's a steamer this side, and then your grill will be in the center here, and then you have a range top stove right up here to the left. So they can just bring their dirty dishes right back to this door. Yeah, and, from the fellowship hall. And they can wash them right back in this area. Right. This is something that uh, we really need in our church today to get the whole family together. We're going to have wood and oak trim all the way around where our sheet rock ties into the wood. We've got to build a podium. The podium will extend back into this little offset, back in the arch, and come out into the room 10 feet. Mm -hmm. Some special plans for these windows. What do yeah, you we have uh, oak frames to go in these two side windows. We're going to use some existing stained glass that the church has in the vestibule, and it will be mounted in an oak frame. This clear glass here is mainly just for protection on your stained glass. It'll be on either side. But uh, it's uh, stained glass that's already in the existing church. We're going to take out a mount in the new frames. We have an uh, assistant pastor's office here. It's all trimmed in oak, chair rail base, and uh, also some more cabinets made by Bud Platt. This one, uh, these rooms are going to be trimmed with wall picks and carpet. We have marble window stools that will be put in every window in the building. Okay, this is a wood base. It's uh, like an ornamental wood base, uh, oak, dark stain. And this is chair rail. It's, in, it's typical for our, all of our assistant, our pastor, our assistant pastors, and our secretarial area. This is Pastor Beat's office, the only office with three windows. And the other pastors are constantly kidding him that if he's not careful, they'll take his office. This is where I'm going to sit. Oh, maybe I'll sit over here. No, maybe I'll sit over here. But I'm just excited. This is going to be so much fun. But I'll sit in this reception area to greet the members who come to see the pastors and to help them with smaller things. It's a large area. Yes, and I'm glad. And there's no glass between me and the church members. This place here is just 
it's a humongous building, really. It's, it's a humongous building, and it's going to take a lot of paint to, uh, to dress it up and make it look proper. And so far, you put on them how many gallons? Probably around 250 gallons all together. I look into the rooms each Sabbath as I go. I like to see how much has been accomplished on the building and the house getting finished off, and it's really looking nice. <laughs> Our son's getting old enough that pretty soon, if they did not have classroom space in the church, that he would have to be walking all over the campus area to go to Sabbath school, and we're going to like it a lot that he's going to be able to stay in the same building. This lower parking lot is really going to serve two purposes. Uh, during the week, it will be a hard surface playground for the elementary school. There will be uh, three basketball courts on one end, a 50-yard dash line for for the kids to, to do some of their track work, uh, assembly area for the PE classes, especially during wet weather, this will be helpful to them. There will be no curbs here so that they can go directly from the playing surface onto the grass. But then, of course, on the weekends, this will be a very helpful second entrance to the church that will allow for a, a covered entry in case it's raining. And I really think that, that this uh, entrance will become a, a major and important one for our congregation. Our children are our greatest asset in the church, and I'm just very thankful that they will be soon, where their parents will be able to pick them up and not have to walk in the rain to other buildings. I think it's going to be a real uh, plus for our church. I think our members will really, once they get into it, will appreciate it and find much more uses for it than they have ever imagined. Hey,